Hello everybody. One of the most requested features for Pin Generator has been the ability to import your Canva templates onto Pin Generator. Well, I'm glad to say the day is finally here. And while I understand that we have a lot of templates on our site already, not all of those templates suit every customer's needs exactly. So this is where Canva import steps in. So now you can import any template from Canva into Pin Generator and with just a few tweaks, make it into a dynamic template to use uh, different images and colors as you would normally in Pin Generator. And this will make your design life a lot easier and hopefully get the exact templates that you want onto Pin Generator. So without further ado, let's get into, into the tutorial on how to import Canva templates into Pin Generator. All right, so head on down to pingenerator.com. Uh, once you've logged in, head on to your template section and we're gonna create a new template. So when selecting the canvas sizes, make sure that you're creating a canvas size the same size as the Canva template that you're importing. So we're gonna use 1000 by 1500 and create a fresh template. So we are going to import this template here. So there's an image, there's some text, uh, a read more button, uh, well, a read more label, let's say. Uh, yeah, so you can see over here on the left hand side, we have import Canva design. It's still in beta, so there are some quirks. If you have any uh, issues, please reach out to support and we can deal with them as fast as possible. So we're gonna go click the import button and there's a few pieces of important information here. Um, so this is some instructions on what to do. So we're gonna export the Canva template as a SVG. We'll upload the SVG here. Um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna break down the uh, Canva template into its individual SVG layers and import those layers separately. So what I recommend is excluding any text layers from the Canva design uh, that, that you want to be dynamic. Uh, the Canva the importing can text from Canva will import each letter as a SVG itself. So if you want the text to be dynamic, I would suggest adding it afterwards. So there's a tutorial here, and oh, do you want to proceed? Yes. So <clears throat> there's going to be a bunch of stuff here. What we're going to do is we're going to share this Canva template. I'm going to download as a SVG and hit the download button. So it's gonna do its thing, it's gonna download, and I already have it, uh, so I'm not gonna save it again. And we're gonna upload it into Pin Generator here, and it's all test one. There we go, cool. So it's uploaded, and we have the template here. Let's just wait for it to render, so you can see it's the same template from Canva, and we're gonna use that. So now you can see that it's thinking, and it's busy breaking up that Canva template into its individual parts for us to use. So you'll note that we use the template with text here. So this text is gonna come through exactly the same, but each of the letters is going to be its own SVG. So we'll discuss how to deal with that shortly. So you can see down here, it's got a whole bunch of Canva layers that is imported, and you've got your exact same template from Canva. So it's uh, replicated the template exactly. So each of the letters here is uh, an SVG and that's not always what you want. So what I would suggest is uh, creating a new template. And so let's say we just want this text to be dynamic and this text can remain the same. I would always just remove the text that I want to be dynamic and re-add it in the pin generator template. So we, again, we're gonna download as SVG, download. I've already done this, so we can go straight to here. We can import. Yes, we wanna import. Oh, I don't wanna save that. We wanna upload a new. So I'm gonna see this test, no text. So it's gonna upload this template now with no text. Okay, so it is uploaded and we can see it here, no text. Cool, let me use selected. It's gonna break it up into all its individual components. So you can see there's considerably fewer uh, layers here. So then what we're gonna to wanna to do is re-add a text layer. So we can just add it here. We can pop it in here. Boom. We can make it the title text of whatever we're detecting. 
And then we can use a similar font. Uh, I think that was a serif font, but uh, I'm not gonna be too crazy about my selection here. Oh wait, maybe let's just do that. And we can center it, center it vertically. Lovely. Okay, so now we have this template. I'm going to call it uh, test one. And when we go over to the generate page, let's create just a uh, some a blank template. And let's go to our template section. We can select template, test one. And here we are, so cat gifts. So you can see it. there's the dynamic text. So that is, we've got our text, our dynamic text working, fantastic. So what we want is also, of course, the image and the colors to be dynamic. So let's go back and edit this template a bit more. <coughs> let's look at the image here. And you can see here we've got uh, some options for this SVG used detected images. We're going to turn that on. And then this uh, box here, we're going to turn on use dynamic colors. So that is going to use the colors from our color section in the sidebar. So let's save that. Let's go back here and let us refresh this template. So you can see that it's using uh, the green background color now. If you change uh, your, your palettes, it's going to adjust that. And this image is using dynamic images, but we haven't got any, any images selected. So let's go select some uh, trusty cat images because that's my go-to. So let's add a few of these cat images to our, our library. And once we select it, we will have the cat image in there. So you see. Dynamic images, dynamic colors, and dynamic text. So that is what we're looking for. So one thing that you should notice, though, is that this is quite zoomed in. And the box is a little bit bigger than uh, the image itself. So what is this? Why is it doing this? So in Canva, you can see that if you double click on this image, it's the image has been uh, cropped. So this is an indicator that you're using an image frame in, uh, in Canva. So it uses that same crop factor when imported into Pin Generator. So this is a quirk, a cropping quirk that uh, is really tricky to deal with and we're trying to figure something out. But what you can do if you don't want this crop factor is in the templates, uh, don't uh, use a frame. So what frames are elements? So these are frames, it's a picture, and you, could, and you put a picture inside it. So what I would do is just, instead of having this frame here, just import a, uh, a general picture and size it however you like. By default, the, the image will be centered. So let's just download this as SVG. We can call it test three. <coughs> and then let's just create one more template. Uh, let's do test three. Let's import it, upload, new Canva template. So while this uploads, you can see that it's uh, imported every little element as a its own individual SVG. So these are all the components that make up the uh, the template that you've imported. So these are all stored in your media library for you to use uh, individually. And I, I see the text ones can be a little bit annoying. Um, so I need to think of a way to deal with that. But uh, yeah, so let's select the, the one we used here. It'll break it down into its individual components and then the image will be usable and not cropped to that uh, crop factor that's used in the Canva frame. So this is just a, just a simple image. So 
da da da. Here we go, it's loading. So I'll just turn on detected images. This is test three. Uh, of course, we want to add some text. There it is. Let's make it dynamic. And uh, let's make it a little bit wider. There we go. A little bit bigger. There we go. Save. Let's go back to our generate page. Uh, let's grab one more template and let's update our template selection. Oh, you see we created a new template, so we just got to refresh the, te the templates here. There's our new template. Let's select that. Let's uh, use one of each so that we can see both in action. And yeah, so you can see the cropping difference here. Um, obviously, this needs some uh, cat gifts, some text for it to use that dynamic text. And yeah, so the cropping's a lot better there. So that is one quirk um, that you need to be aware of. And lastly, I thought I'd show you a, a, an import of a really complicated template to show you uh, the, the import in all its glory. So let's add a new pin and let's import a template and let's upload a new one. I've got this mood board, uh, mood board template, which is really complicated. Let's uh, let's show it to you guys first. Let's open it in the, in the browser. So this is quite a complicated template. Six images, well, five images, uh, a shape, um, some cool text, and a nice header. So quite a really, quite a pretty uh, template. So it is quite big also. I think it's, geez, how big is it? Uh, it's only 11 megabytes. Uh, so yeah, so here we go, it's done. Here's the mood board. You select it and yeah, let's watch it do its thing. There we go, it's imported. And yeah, so it's uh, pixel perfect as is as compared to the Canva template. So that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I know it's got some quirks uh, and I will be working to resolve a lot of them but I think that's a great improvement and really opens the door for us to have some great designs and pin generator. Cool guys, I hope that helps. Leave some comments below, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Cool, ciao.